Hello friends, this video on basic geometrical ideas part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when it comes to geometry, what do we learn? The term geometry, what does it mean? Do you know that? Geo, the word geo means earth. And the term metry means to measure or measurement. So geometry basically means measurement of earth. So do you think that in geometry we are going to measure the earth? Not really. It is that specific branch of mathematics that deals with various shapes, their properties and measurements. So here we will not only look at different shapes. Now, so why the name geometry has been given? Because it, it deals with measurement of different shapes. So that's why you have metry. And why earth? Because all the objects on this earth, they have many different shapes and here we are going to deal with all of those shapes. We, we are going to look into the properties of those shapes and we are also going to consider measuring those shapes. So that is why the term geometry was appropriate for this particular branch of mathematics. Now here we will start from the very basics. Now we will directly not go into the shapes and we will not start measuring their uh, size or measuring their area. So that's now not how we are going to start. First we will start with the very very basic elements of geometry. The basic elements will start from points, angles, lines, rays. So only when you know those basic elements only then you will be able to understand the concept of different shapes. So let us look at these examples. Let's think of this door. So right now the door is closed. Now what happens as we gradually open the door? Now let's say someone is very slowly trying to open the door. And finally the door is opened. So what is the difference that you see in these gradual steps? So in the first case, now in all of these images, you see that the frame of the door is fixed in all the cases. If you want, you try this experiment at your home. Try to open the door very gradually and what do you see? The frame is fixed. Now initially, the door was aligned to the frame. So the door was actually placed over the frame. When you tried to open it, this angle increased. So initially the angle was zero. Now when you opened it further, the angle increased further. When you opened it almost completely, the angle again increased. So you see that gradually the angle is increasing from here it was 0 degree, then maybe it was somewhere around 30 degree, then 60 degree, then 90 degree and so on. So the angle is gradually increasing. So what's happening? How do I know how much is the angle? So that is where measurement comes into picture. Right? So that is what we do in geometry. We deal with the measurements. We also deal with their properties. Like what are the properties of angles? Because these angles, multiple angles together will give rise to many different shapes. Right? So here what happens? So these are the small small things that we are going to handle in geometry. Here we see that in this particular scenario, whenever we open a door, there is a geometrical element which changes its value, whose measurement changes and that geometrical element is nothing but an angle. So the angle changes. Let us look at another example. Let's say that this is your house and this is your school. So let's say if somebody asks you how far exactly is your school from your house? Now when we say how far exactly, that means you need to give a measure. You cannot say that my school is nearby or you cannot say that my school is far. Now when you say my school is nearby, it could be 3 kilometers from your house. It could also be 10 kilometers from your house. It could also be 500 meters from your house. So the moment we ask that how much is the distance between your house and the school so what you what you need to do we you actually need to measure the length of the road from your house to school 
So the moment you measure the length of this road, what are you trying to do? This is basically a line segment, if, if it is a straight line. If it is a curved road, so in that case also you need to measure the length of that curved road. So basically again you are dealing with measurement. So what is this road? This road is also of some specific shape, either it is a straight road in the shape of a straight line or it is a curved road in the shape of an open curve. So it depends what is the shape of that road but that road is also a shape and we are dealing with the measurement of that shape. Similarly if somebody asks you how far is the shop from your home so in that case also you are going to measure the length of the road that connects your home with the shop. So this is also where you see that geometry has an application. Think of a scenario let's say that there is a circular park in your neighborhood. Now somebody asks you that how much space is enclosed within this park. So how much space do you think is enclosed within this park? So this is the boundary of the park, right? So if I ask you how much space is enclosed within the park, that means you basically need to measure this entire space. Because this is the space that is enclosed by the park. So basically what you need to do, you need to find out the area that is enclosed by the park. That is what you have been asked. So how will you calculate the area enclosed by this circular park? So circle again is a geometrical shape. So we, you have to find out the area enclosed by this circle. So how do we measure area? So again, a measurement. So you see in each of these examples, what I'm trying to say is everywhere when you actually think properly, you will see that around us, we come across many different shapes and we need to measure. You need to measure a lot of things related to those shapes. And that is where geometry comes into picture. So in geometry, we learn how to uh, analyze different shapes, how to measure various parameters of different shapes. So that is what we are going to learn in geometry. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.